Hello guys, welcome back to Zack Anime Studios, your channel number one for graphic design, coding and animation. So we guys, today I, I want to take to, I want to, to show you something very uh, amazing today. We are working with Laravel and my idea was, I just wanted to use an existing project that we have been working on uh, to inject Laravel Livewire into our project. So guys, this uh, Laravel Livewire is, uh, is going to, as a developer, it's going to increase your project to another level that is, it's going to revolutionize your work. Uh, and uh, it's going to revolutionize your work and uh, so grab grab a, gr a glass of beverage a glass glass of soda so that um, you don't get choked with this amazing information so first and foremost live is a it's a JavaScript files uh, that deals with both front end and back end of your application, both front end and back end of your application. Uh, and my idea was I wanted just to use an existing project whereby we wanted to add Laravel Livewire into our existing project. So first and foremost, we have to do the installation. Installation is we run into our terminal of the projects that we are working on. First and foremost, you are going to do Composer Require, Composer Require Livewire, Livewire, Composer Require Livewire, Livewire. So guys, Composer Require Livewire, Livewire, you install it into your project and then it's going, you're, after installing into your project, it's going to 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 have those you are going to have those packages inside your system and after installing that package package into your system you know you'll be now able to create components that you are going to inject into your project so let's say we are doing a project of the of this kind okay in short this this project is was done in uh, laravel and we had installed javascript that is bootstrap on it right so we just want to build on those skills that we have done on the previous previous video uh, all about this project this project we were creating uh, we wanted to register bikers uh, basically border border guys into a stage uh, the stages that they come from and initially what we had done we had uh, used uh, let's just go to add 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 a, add a biker uh, you can see that uh, either a biker or a, or a rider so you're going to we are going to add you can you can still remember that we used uh, um, migrations uh, uh, i think let's go to rider because that is the right person we wanted so you go to biker uh, and add uh, click on add so basically it has the crud functions you can remember we had done some uh, migrations and then the seeding so this information we wanted is as a user gets into the project he just loads the the, the counties these users are from and then the constituencies they are coming from and if you are in kenya and you want to you could get a piece of this code guys link will be provided in the description and you can also do some of amazing work it, it can help you increase because basically these are modules i'm creating you can add it into your project uh, you don't need to create now uh, you don't need to create roles that that is you don't need to create uh, the, the the locations uh, the the counties so this one you just inject into your project and then you you're getting you got you get started as you move on so my idea was uh, inside inside the bikers right here inside the bikers we want to add a Laravel component uh, uh, a live wire component uh, whereby all these bikers are being pro, pro uh, are being uh, portrayed here on the on the list so you need to create a component uh, you need to create a component uh, right that's right so we need to go and create a component and to create a component is just php artisan 
PHP artisan make live wire make live wire rider now the name of uh, of make make live wire and then the name of the component that you want to make so you can create a component biker just like that and then it's going to create two components first it's going to create a a PHP file for it's more of like a controller and then a view file which is a blade file right so that view file inside the biker uh, you see what we have now inside the this where on the on the the blade file right biker this one is the one that you're going to add now your HTML components and this file is the one that you're going to inject let's say you are doing two projects uh, okay you are doing a project the first project was the html index right on the bikers right uh, bikers.index here on bikers.index i'm just going to use this point where you are you are logged in right here uh, i need to add i need to add the i need now to inject the javascript file right i'll just do live script live script uh, okay, a live wire component. Let me just copy because I have done it a few seconds ago on the bikers, uh, biker index, uh, biker rider, 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 rider index. So it is going to be live wire and then the name of that. So inside of the biker index, biker index, biker, 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 biker. biker 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 i'm sorry uh we were here this is stage control p to search something is just to you just write control p and then you're going to so here i'm going to inject that but now this is not going to be biker it's going to be a rider okay so this is going to be a live wire component as you can see so when i reload you will see that there is not not information there is no errors there's no information but now to ensure that it has been loaded correctly i'm just going to go on that live wire component and then uh, live wire component i'm sorry uh, live wire biker and then i'm going to add a html component right uh, h1 or h2 and then i'm going to give it a name uh welcome 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 to live wire live wire component component and then so i've already injected it inside the the index file of a rider okay so just like that and then i'm going to just to reload uh you will see that inside the rider index welcome to as you can see now there is a rider component just below there so by car rider there are two i've injected the two uh there's also the writer the bikes uh, biker rider so bikes and rider so you can see you can inject laravel component into your project and you can do a lot more uh, you can do crud functions uh, you can do so basically uh, on the next video we'll be creating a crud function of laravel uh, that is live wire getting data from the database using live wire and we are going to inject it so basically this information here this information from uh, the CRUD function of uh, a biker, this information here on rider, the total, the names of the riders, we are going to add it inside a Laravel, a Laravel live wire. And thank you for watching. Subscribe to this amazing channel and be part of this community. Subscribe, 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 and subscribe.